Who are you? My name is Zach. From the band? Fiddler. And Zach, who else is in Fiddler? Could you please introduce them? This is Elvis Keen. Hi. He plays guitar. That's Brandon Schwartzel. Hello. He plays bass. That's Max Keen. How's it going? He plays drums. And together you are? Fiddler. Fiddler. So here we are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada with Feed. Lar. It all goes back. Can you please, Max, tell me about the loud, fast rules. What do we have in here? Uh, does <laughs> this have the diffs in it? Yes, if you could please open to the annotated part there. What do we have here? An amazing photo here. Please explain. <laughs> This is a uh, this is a picture taken at the at the key club like the parking lot of the key club, and I'm probably like 13, like 12, 13, and Elvis is about 13 or 14, and uh, yeah, well I haven't even I can't, totally forgot about this actually. Could you please explain what's going on there? The diffs, Elvis. Yeah, the diffs. It was uh, uh, me and Max's band when we were like 13, 12, and uh, yeah, we opened up for a lot of the old punk bands like. TSOL and adolescence and uh, all those guys. Yeah, I don't. I totally forgot about this. So at this time, Max and Elvis were in the diffs, but you, Brandon, you were being called Forest. You weren't Maxi Pad. You were Forest. What's the Forest? That was a lot, lot, many years before. I was in fourth grade, and this girl that I had a crush on what? used to call me Forest because I ran funny. Oh my God. Well, how do you know that? <laughs> The band Fiedler has some amazing connections to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Some Canadian familiar connections. If you could please open this poster right here. What is the Canadian connection that you have to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada? Oh, is it a TSOL poster? This is awesome. This is such a cool fucking poster. It's TSOL. Could you please explain there a little bit, Elvis? Oh, wow. Um, yeah, our dad, our dad is the... Uh, keyboard player of TSOL and uh, yeah he played in Vancouver British Columbia he actually probably played this show too yeah this is awesome your dad played keyboards in TSOL which was very contentious could you please explain about that your dad doing keyboards for TSOL contentious yeah they uh, <laughs> it was I think it was um, frowned upon by a lot of their like punk fans so they yeah they just wanted to do something different and um, and yeah, they added him, and he's like classically trained, like a uh, keyboard nerd. Now, TSOL, is it true the FBI had a file on them? Uh, I don't know. I Possibly. Know. I know my dad's told me a story before when they played with like uh, Social Distortion in LA, and there's this huge riot. And I know Jack uh, kind of had like his whole vicious circle, crazy gang stuff going on. So I don't know. Possibly. That could be could, very likely. Yeah. Been a lot of jail time, I think, collectively <laughs> in that band. <laughs> yeah. And the first time you saw your dad's band, a guy got shot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we were on stage. Like my parents. Uh, There's nothing to laugh at. No, no, it was horrible. No, it was actually really bad. But it, yeah, yeah. But it was. Uh, it was. Uh, yeah. It, he he wasn't playing with them and hadn't seen them in a long time. And we started getting into punk. And then we went and saw them. And my parents were like, we were like, I was 11, and he was 12 or whatever. And they were like, okay, we're gonna put him on stage where it's gonna be safe. There's not gonna be like a mosh pit. And then feet behind us, some dude gets shot in the face, and it was pretty gnarly. So I thought, in honor of the TSOL Vancouver connections, I would give you a gift right here: the history of Canadian oh, punk rock, awesome. "Perfect oh. Youth" by Sam Sutherland. That's awesome. Amazing. So Thank you. can read all about DOA and TSOL gigs and Pointed Sticks in Vancouver. And to top that off, since that gig was in Vancouver, I have a little DVD here for you called Bloody But Bowed, named after a DOA song all about the history of Vancouver punk rock. Oh, awesome. This is so rad. Thank you so much. What's interesting, though, is your dad also is responsible for Guns N' Roses because he was in the band The... Joneses, yeah. I can't tell the people about the Joneses. Guns N' Roses. What? John, Guns N' Roses ripped them off, right? Please explain. Uh, I don't know too much about the Joneses, Guns N' Roses history, um, but I know the Joneses rule. I we, we actually both have played shows with as the Joneses before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Do you? Maybe you could tell us a little bit. About I just heard the Guns N' Roses were severely influenced by the Joneses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they yeah they had kind of a similar sound, I guess. Yeah. So your dad is responsible for Guns N' Roses. Exactly. Well, Guns N' Roses also in the Sweet Child of Mine video is wearing a TSOL shirt. 
Joe. Later era, though. Yeah. Later era. That was Joe. Yeah, born yeah Joe. Run, born to run era. But we still... Oh, hit and run. That's what it is. We, but we know some of them, too. So, Zach, here we are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's very sunny, isn't it? It is. Like I was saying before this interview, maybe you need sunglasses, yeah. but you don't because you're from Hawaii. I am from Hawaii. And was it a rat-a-tat shins gig that caused you to come to North America? <laughs> yeah, totally. How come? Um, drugs and alcohol. That was the tipping point? That was the tipping point and driving. Drugs, alcohol, and driving, not a good combination. And your dad, cool, surfing in a sugar mill. I love the idea. Your dad makes boards in a sugar mill? Yeah, he does. What was that like, and when did that happen? He, he bought six mason containers and stacked them up on top of each other and made, like, a surfboard factory and just make surfboards. And you guys have that video all about Hawaii, don't you? Girlfriends. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. Buckshot Shorty. Yeah, Buckshot Shorty. The Sticklers. The Sticklers, man, 86 list. Cron Seed. Cron Seed. Grapefruit. Yeah, Grapefruit. The legendary Grapefruit. Yeah. In that video, there's a guy doing a windmill. Who's the guy doing in a windmill? That's, uh, that's uh, Lyle from Buckshot Shorty and Tanner Boyle Quartet. What can you say about those bands that I mentioned? Oh, those are great bands. They're like just total weird punk bands in Hawaii that it's very weird having... That kind of music play in like a paradise kind of like that, you know, it was, it was really cool. And where did you play? Like in coffee shops, the coffee talk? Where'd you play? <laughs> coffee talk, yeah. <laughs> coffee shops and gyms, you know, like in uh, cafeterias and... Still where Fiddler plays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you moved to California and helped out some Canadians. I did, I did. I recorded a uh, Tokyo Police Club and uh, this band called Sweet Thing. And I noticed, Brandon, you're quite into putting stuff on your bass, aren't you? Yeah, sometimes. Like you put Wu-Tang on your base. Yeah, yeah. So I thought again, further to welcome you to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, I have the Ghostface Killer oh. Tony book. That's awesome. With audio accompaniment, so you can listen to the Ghostface Pretty Tony talk all about the Wu. This is like the best present I've ever gotten. But you are seriously into the Wu, though, aren't yeah, you? You yeah, love yeah. the Wu. Big Wu-Tang fan. Well, I guess I was wondering about putting cell phone numbers on amps. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, that... Yeah, that was the, a dark period. Well, he still does it, but he used to put my phone number on. And, and <laughs> yeah, because I would get calls all the time. Well, it all kind of started as someone put my phone number on a Justin Bieber blog, and then I got calls for like a year, and then we started putting them on the amps. What were the calls like? I, like thinking I was Justin Bieber, like little 12 year old girls. It was horrible. It was like. Did you turn them on to Fiedler at all? Uh, no, I well, I kind of messed with them a little bit at first, and then and then it just got. It was like a year into it, and I was like, I, "This isn't funny anymore." So I just cool. stopped ignoring. Yeah, well, it was also I didn't have my voicemail like say Max at all, so it just was kind of ambiguous if it was Justin Bieber or not. So I had to change my voicemail and everything. And so that tied into putting it on amps. Yeah. yeah then, I'm sorry about that, by the way. Yeah. Please explain, Zach. You're at a gig. What? Fiedler are playing. <laughs> Diet. Oh, we'd be sing tonight. I'm going to see my cell phone number on your amp tonight. <laughs> I just put chalkboard paint on my amp, and every show I would just write somebody's phone number on it. And yeah, I picked on Max for a while, and then uh, I put uh, this band Pangea. I always put like one of the members in their in that band number on there. You love the food, don't you? Poutine. Now, is it true you're sponsored by Taco Bell? Well, we just got like a we got a hundred five dollar gift cards. We so it's actually good. frequent uh, Del Taco more often, which mm -hmm. I actually heard that you're a fan of, and you were at one in Federal Way, Washington. That's incredible. How did you know that? <laughs> I, I, I heard from a buddy. I've only been there twice in my life. <laughs> so you ventured all the way down there just to try the, the Southern California Mexican yes, chain? It's one of the rare ones. Yeah. Have you been to that one? Uh, no, no, but we, we dug up some stuff on you, Nardwar. We got you. <laughs> Baboom! <laughs> Baboom! <laughs> Quote, I hear them yelling, Babe Ruth, I got ADD depression and an ingrown tooth. What the hell is that? Oh, that's... That's Mo rapping on one of our songs. <laughs> Headhunters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was the last Headhunter song we ever did, and that was our that's our friend Mo uh, rapping on that. Yes. <laughs> and in honor of your love of the Three Six Mafia, I have a little gift for you: a Three Six Mafia 12-inch, which you can rap over instrumental version oh that's amazing this is so cool actually thank you will there still be some rapping do you think on a head hunting uh, i don't know i want to do a reunion we were supposed to play like a couple 
a couple uh, New Year's Eves ago, but we didn't we didn't get it together for some reason. Well, thanks very much, Fiedler. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 do.